Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 2 of my trip to Murshidabad. Today we explore Kashim Bajar and its surroundings. Before moving on to day 2 of my trip, let's go back and visit some places that I visited on day 1, namely the Kartkola Palace and Gardens and the Jahan Kosha Canon. So let's go. The Kartgola Palace is a four-story palatial mansion built in 1933, fringed with picturesque gardens. It has an ornamented facade with paintings, mirrors and furniture and its interiors were created with imported materials from the 19th century. Beside the palace, there is a small pond and a step well. The gardens cover 30 acres and it is said that black roses were cultivated here once, but now only mango trees can be seen here. Of course, you can see some rose over here. There is a statue of Michelangelo in the gardens. side of the palace is very beautiful as the entire pond is covered with mango trees in its boundary and as you can see the palace view from the opposite side of the pond is just breathtaking. There is a mini zoo inside the palace grounds where we can see many species of birds, exotic fish and other animals, some of which we have been able to capture on video. The Jahan Kosha Cannon, also known as the Destroyer of the World, was made in 1637 under the Mughal Empire.
Dutch Cemetery is located next to Kosim Bazar Railway Station at Kalkapur, where the Dutch owned huge factories in the year 1666 AD and were based. Here lies the remains of notable workmen and merchants of the Dutch East India Company. The Shiva temple of exquisite workmanship is located near Kosim Bazar New Palace or Kosim Bazar Choto Rajbadi. This temple was built in 1811 AD and subsequently renovated in 1918 and 1995. The temple is unique with its rich terracotta facade, stucco figures and a bangla porch and has an unique inverted lotus dome above a curved cornice.